Hello, I'm Kendra, and this is Hooked by Happenstance makes Monday episode number 40, Adjust. Before we discuss the word adjust, um, today's gonna be a quick and dirty episode. I'm not sitting because I didn't want to turn on lights, and well, it is late to most people. It is very early in my usual schedule. It's not quite midnight, but because of a number of circumstances today, I was not able to film till now, but I also, like, need to go to bed basically now. So, quick and dirty is how this is gonna happen, because I'm trying to adjust. Okay, so our word of the week is adjust. I'm gonna just look down here for the definition. According to dictionary.com, adjust is a verb, and when used with an object, the first definition is to change something so that it fits, corresponds, or conforms, adapt, or accommodate, as in to adjust expenses to income. The second definition is to put in good working order, regulate, bring to a proper state or position, as in to adjust an instrument. The third is to settle or bring to a satisfactory state so that parties are agreed in the result to adjust our differences. The fourth is in insurance, which means to determine the amount to be paid in a settlement or a claim. The fifth is to systematize, systematize to make into a system, basically. And the sixth is in the military to correct the elevation or deflection of a gun. The other way is as a verb without an object, which means to adapt oneself or become adapted, as in they had no problem in adjusting at the new school. Well, I am attempting to adjust to being back home after being gone for 16 days, two weeks at my dad's house, doing all the things. Yeah, a lot to adjust to. I'm adjusting to time, I'm adjusting to weather, I'm adjusting to my life. And then within my life, my life is still trying to adjust. So, things are a little, a little off kilter. <laughs> and I'm just doing my best to try and, and bring those things into good work, to regulate, to, uh, to kind of balance things out, and also to adjust my schedule to fit what, what's going on at any, any given time and wherever I am at. So, last time I talked to you was last Monday, and I was in California, if you'll remember. I left California on Wednesday afternoon. I arrived in Kansas super early on Friday morning, and now here we are, once again, Monday night. So, I have had um, some interesting crafting time. It has been spent in multiple venues, some of it on the train, some of it here at home, some of it in a car today, in fact. I don't have a huge amount to show you, but let, let's run through what's here. So the first thing and the thing that got the most attention this week was my cogitation wrap. And here it is in its current full state. I didn't do all of this since Monday, but I did a pretty good chunk. And some of this you have yet to see. It will actually be in tomorrow's cogitation video when I will talk about it. But it's it's getting pretty lengthy. As you can see, if I just slump it around myself, it's uh it's pretty big right now and it's it's obviously wide enough that it can be a wrap. Um this is probably going to be the end of this particular segment of the wrap and then I'm going to make a second pattern, I think, with the next couple months because um each of these segments of my cogitation shawl, if you do not know, has been based on the videos that I made last year. What I've been doing is going back and watching all the videos I made here at Hook by Happenstance last year and then um, converting those based on a pattern I devised to basically make a wrap pattern using loops and threads we'll like in a variety of colors. Um, so far the pattern for the first two segments is up at hookbyhappenstance.com and the third segment will be up when I get the video up tomorrow, talking about the third segment. And these cover all the videos, May, June, and July of 2017. From now on, I've decided in part of that adjustment that, um, yeah, do one a month every, uh, to put out a video on Tuesday and a video on Saturday and do a month in between there is a lot. It's like 90 to 100 rows of <laughs> fingering weight and I have to like, figure out the pattern and make sure it's written legibly and like it's too much too much 
So I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting expectations, I'm adjusting my plan, and I'm going to basically just try and get as much done as I can between now and whatever day the video has to come out, and then we will just discuss that segment of the shawl. It will not be a whole month, and then I will just work in chunks like that. And we'll just see how long it takes me. It won't all be done by the channel's anniversary in May, but that's okay. I'm all right with that because I'm really enjoying this and this shawl is so smooshy and wonderful and so she wants to get all the ends put in it'll be it'll be good things so that is the first thing I'm working on is my cogitation wrap now the second thing that I've worked on is also actually from a video here on the channel I did a freaker frog where I found this here which uh, is a dishcloth and it's half of Santa's britches. Actually, hmm. oh, this is the one I found because this one's a little looser in gauge. So this one is the one I found in the drawer and this one is the one I whipped up last night. So obviously I still need to weave in the ends and sew them together. I've been asked if there is a pattern for this. There is. It is called Christmas Britches, I believe, from froggingalong.com. I think it's frog. If you put in Christmas britches frogging along into Google, it will send you to the blog where I got this pattern oh so many moons ago and made the one and then stuck it in a drawer. Which meant that I then had to play the gauge game where um, in mm, several years of crocheting and a lot of stitches made, my gauge is so so different. So I forget exactly which hook I used. The pattern calls for a K. Um, when I used a K, it was ridiculous, and I don't think I used a K. I think I used a J is what I was thinking. What I ended up using for the second one was a size 7 hook, which is, um, the, it's a, not a standard U.S. hook. Um, standard would be like a G and an H, and a 7 falls in the middle of those two. Um, it is actually right here. It is a 4.5 millimeter. I guess it's a common U.K. size, though, I think. Um, but it's not like a super common U.S. size. But anyways, a 4.5 millimeter size 7 hook is what I used. And it turned out close-ish. However, the texture of these two is not the same. Um, I just assume because my stitching is different now. I don't know. But they're going to be fine. It's going to make a pair of novelty. Uh, you sew the little leggies up in the way indicated in that pattern. And um, I need to make a drawstring that goes through them. And what do you know? Santa's pants has got a cutesy little poem about how you can just pull it apart. She basically whip stitch it together, pull it apart, and then you have two dishcloths. And these will ultimately be a Christmas present for my husband's uncle. And I will have one thing just checked right off the list already. So that'll be good. And it's something out of my stash of woebegone whips that I put on my hook and I'm getting to and... I feel good about because it's actually getting completed. The third thing, I guess is actually the second thing I worked on. I worked on this on the train, but this is also based on a video. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when you do VEDA. Like everything has to relate back to a video because videos become your life. So um, I am making the Dragon Belly Shawl by Miho Crochet. Fairly certain this one's, yes, Miho Crochet, Dragon Belly Shawl. Johanna Lindahl is the name of the designer, but you can find it on Ravelry. It is a free pattern. I am making this out of seven balls of this Wildflower DK from Plymouth Yarn. It is a 51% cotton, 49% acrylic, super soft, yummy feeling yarn. I am making it using my H 5.0 millimeter hook, and it is working up into this super nice, squishy, soft, wonderful shawl. Um, I have four balls of this navy bluish here and I have three balls of the green. I don't think they actually even have color names on the labels. There might be a number on there, but I was yarn fair at the yarn and they came from like a sale of some sort. So there are like stickers and things. And one of the balls was actually bald and then had like tape around the outside. So I don't know. I don't know that I trust all that information anyways, but this has a really nice it's got a nice, like, kind of squishy texture, and it has this, like, ribbing on it um, created, and that's where the dragon belly concept comes from. Obviously, it has a right and a wrong side, but the wrong side is just as beautiful. And I thought that this would be a good thing to make. I picked this out of a Let Peach Let Pick, but 
Um, knowing that this yarn is a cotton acrylic blend, I think it'll be nice for the spring and summer, and I don't have a lot of lighter accessory pieces. And as you know, I like to wear something I made like every day, basically, um, if I can. But it's going to get warm here soon, and that's not going to be a reality. At least not things I've crocheted. I guess I could start sewing more things for myself, but it's not exactly the same. I mean, I guess, like, the ultimate is when you can wear something you sewed with something you crocheted. And then, like, some jewelry I've made. That would be, like, well, I do all of that, and that's kind of the, the head-to-toe maker-me look, huh? But, but that can be exhausting. Life can be exhausting. Anyways, adjusting expectations. <laughs> it is going to be summer here shortly, and I won't be able to wear all my nice warm... I mean, I could wear my nice warm things, but Kansas is not a friendly place in the summer sometimes. It is hot. It is humid. Oh, yeah. And that is just... That's not that's not a good reality. But for the, uh, the times when it's cool, or if I'm somewhere that's going to be like air conditioning, so it's on your shoulders, and then that'd be nice. Or I could wear it over like a, like a camisole or something that's like not very much fabric. So, it'll give me some options, and it uses up some stash I had that was pretty, and it was nice yarn. Like, I would definitely, I don't know if this yarn is even in existence anymore, I haven't looked, but Plymouth Yarns Wildflower DK, if it is available, super nice. I would recommend it. It, uh, it has a nice feel, and it's a nice weight. So, it's kind of a thinner side of the DK, but um, that's kind of what I was looking for anyways. And that is all the projects that I've worked on, um... Not that that's not very many. There's a lot of stitches. And actually this, so on the train, I started working on this on my train ride home. And I got to here. And then I picked it up last night and I finished out the navy to here. And then I picked up the green ball and I did all of this today. The green and the navy in the car. And then um, this evening while I was just hanging out. And I'm considering that dragon belly shawl is like junk food. It's like the candy of crochet. It serves no nutritional value. <laughs> it's not something I need to turn around to do a video on. It's not going to be for sale. It has no deadline. It has no real purpose in my life. But it's delicious and I can't stop working on it. So it is. It's like that junk food candy. Like there's no really good reason for it except that it makes you feel a little bit better. And whew, we all know. We need to feel as much better as we can. So that is everything I've worked on. I hope that you enjoyed this brief video and stay tuned. There will be videos hopefully every day this week. I'm still attempting to do beta video every day in April. So far I've only missed one and that is because the cogitation is just a slightly larger thought than I was expecting. Gotta just keep adjusting and I'll see you all next time. Bye.